What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be having a look at Aim Assist in Call of Duty World War II. I've been getting a lot of people wondering how it works in this game, is it different than previous games, and for a lot of people, they've been saying they've been having issues with these Aim Assist ranges. So today, we're going to be breaking it down in great detail. So first up, if you're in your settings, you'll see that there are two different types of Aim Assist in multiplayer that you can either enable or disable. This is Aim Assist Slowdown, as well as Aim Assist Rotation. Now, for those of you guys that are confused about the differences between these two types of aim assist, let's go over slowdown first. Aim assist slowdown is the mechanic that will slow your aim down as you sweep it across an enemy. So if you're spinning in a circle and your aim sweeps across an enemy, it will basically lower your sensitivity as it goes over top of your enemy, thus kind of sticking to that enemy. This mechanic will work all the time as long as you're within range. And keep in mind, we will be going over a range chart with all of the different weapons in the game towards the end of the video. As for aim assist rotation, this one is a little bit different. This is the one that will actually rotate your character and follow the enemy player to an extent. Now it's not going to do all the work for you, it just kind of assists you in following a player. But with this one, keep in mind this only activates if your feet are moving. If you're standing still, your aim isn't going to budge at all by itself. Your feet have to be moving to engage this, and this is one of the reasons why on console, strafing in gunfights is extremely effective. When you're doing that, your target assist rotation will kick in, and it will help you stay on target in a gunfight. So those are the two elements of aim assist in COD World War II. Are they any different than previous Call of Duty games? Because if you go into the menus of previous Call of Duty games, usually there's only one option for multiplayer aim assist to either enable it or disable it. And it turns out it's exactly the same. They just separated it into two different menus with the previous Call of Duty games, the ones that just have that one selection setting. This is for all aim assist, including slowdown as well as rotation. So the aim assist system itself has not changed from previous Call of Duties. What about the ranges though? Let's kick it off with the rifle class in this game. As you can see here on Carantan, I was able to finally figure out the different ranges within a particular area of the map. And as you can see here, with assault rifles, our aim down sight aim assist range is going to be 37 and a half meters or 1500 inches. When we aren't aiming down sight and we're just hip firing, the aim assist range is shorter at 1000 inches or 25 meters. If you're beyond the respective ranges for these, you won't get any aim assist whatsoever. And also I should note that aim assist doesn't get any stronger as you get closer to your target. It's the same strength throughout its entire range. Let's start getting into the other classes of the weapons. Here are the SMGs. As you can see here, the SMGs while aiming down sight have the exact same aim assist range as the rifles in this game. But when you're hip firing, it does have a slightly lower range than the rifles at 750 inches or approximately 19 meters. Getting into the LMGs, as you can see here, once again, when aiming down sight, the LMGs had the exact same aim assist range as the SMGs and the rifles. But once again, we get a reduced hip fire range with the LMGs. And this is kind of to balance out the LMGs to make sure they're not too powerful when hip firing up close. And as you can see here, the aim assist range while hip firing is only 500 inches or 12 and a half meters. For shotguns, the aim assist range isn't really all that relevant, but I'll show you guys anyways. When you aim down sight with a shotgun, you get a 1000 inch aim assist range. And when you're hip firing, it's 600 inches or 15 meters. Finally, we have the pistols. And quite surprisingly, the pistols have the exact same aim down sight aim assist range as the SMGs, the rifles, and the LMGs. So great aim assist on the pistols this time around. But when we're hip firing, we get the same aim assist range as the shotgun hip fire at 15 meters. So overall, before we have a look at the sniper rifles, because that's a completely different bag of worms that we're going to open here in a second, is this really significantly different than previous Call of Duty games? No, it isn't. It's actually very similar ranges for the most part. There's a couple things that are slightly different, like pistols get crazy aim down sight aim assist range in this game. But aside from that, there's really nothing too far out of the ordinary when it comes to aim assist in this game. Let's get into the sniper rifles now, and these are definitely different this time around. The first thing I'll point out so we can just eliminate it off the bat, there is absolutely no way to get aim assist while hip firing with a sniper rifle. There's nothing you can do to make this happen, there is no such thing as aim assist while hip firing with a sniper. Now that we have that out of the way, when we're aiming down sight, we always get aim assist with the Lee Enfield as well as the Carabin. And by always, I mean literally all the time, at least within the ranges that we have in this game. It appears their aim assist range is either infinite or it's just such a long distance that you'll never find a line of sight long enough to get outside of that aim assist range. So with both of those weapons, even when you're not using the mountain division, you will get aim assist while aiming down sight. 
The other two on the other hand, the 1903 Springfield as well as the Car 98K, these ones don't get aim down sight aim assist unless you're using mountain division and holding your breath at the same time. When you do this, once again, it looks like we have an infinite aim assist range just like with the Lee Enfield as well as the Carabin. If you aren't holding your breath though, or if you're not using the mountain division, you will not get aim assist with these two sniper rifles. So there we have it. That's everything that I wanted to cover today for the aim assist in Call of Duty World War II. One thing I want to point out is throughout all of my testing, I couldn't find any anomalies. I couldn't find any issues. I have been getting a lot of tweets and a lot of comments on my YouTube videos asking me about aim assist and whether or not it's broken this time around or what's different with it. Based on my testing, everything appears to be working normally. So if you are experiencing difficulties with aim assist in this game, the only explanation I can think of is it's possibly just a connection issue that you're having. Connection aside, aim assist seems to be working just like it always has. So there we have it. That's going to wrap it up for today's video on aim assist in COD World War II. I'd like to know in the comment section below, did any of these results surprise you? Did you think aim assist was weaker or different in some way in this game compared to previous games? Or was this pretty much what you expected? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.